Clemson heads to Raleigh, North Carolina. I'm kind of stoked about this. We, we've talked a little bit about this in the preview earlier, but NC State, 7-1 and one against the spread, their last eight at home. However, they will not have Peyton Thomas on the... I'm sorry, Peyton Wilson. God, I keep messing up his name. Peyton Wilson, the, the all-star linebacker. They're not going to have him. He's out for the rest of the season. Fagan, the safety. I, I think those are the two best defensive players that they've got. Both of them out for the year. That's going to be a big problem here. It, Clemson just has not looked very good. Clemson, uh, what did I say, a 10-point favorite here? I had them actually yes, as, a, I had them as a 14-point favorite. I, I do wonder about this. Like This feels like it could be really low scoring. 2015 was the last time that NC State had a real shot to win a game against Clemson. In 2016, it was a 38-31 ball game, and that one was in Raleigh. I I do wonder about this because Clemson has blown them out two straight times. They didn't play last year uh, because of all the the weird ACC stuff, the way they reshaped their schedule to uh, to fit in Notre Dame. But I, I do feel like Dave Doran is a good enough coach to be able to keep this thing close <laughs> So long as Clemson doesn't just bust out, right? Like, DJ Uyunglele has been awful passing the football. And and if that continues, then yes, they can absolutely keep this within 10. I tend to believe that Clemson will find a way to score. They will find a way to look better. The circumstances surrounding their three games thus far, uh, far really weird, really weird stuff. They got all the talent in the world. I think they're going to find a way to figure it out. I, I'm going to take the Clemson minus 10 here. But I, I don't feel great about it. Like this, this is not one of my you know official uh, gambling picks. But, but I do, I will take Clemson minus ten here. Well, this is one of my official gambling picks, baby, and I am taking the Wolf Pack. Let me tell you something. When somebody has bullied you as long as Clemson has bullied the ACC, you take that opportunity to kick them when they are down. You take advantage of every thing you can they're going to pull out all the stops because this might be their last shot at beating them for a decade okay so you take this chance and i think their fans believe it i think the students believe it i think the the crowd is going to be crazy i something is this defense is gonna make young leg really really uncomfortable you become one dimensional in college football in big boy college football you can get shut down by anybody true okay and I do believe that Clemson has become one-dimensional. Now, they got to find some offense because the boys on the other side of the football for Clemson and that coach on the other side of the football for Clemson, I believe, is one of the best coaches in all of college football. Okay, I've said that multiple times. And at some point in time, you've got to find a way to score. But if you can score, I think this is your game. I think this is your team. You're at home. You're going to have a chance to, 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 to do something special that your school and these students will remember for a long time, and I think it's going to happen. Yeah, yeah. Tim Beck, I, I do think, I, I do trust that he'll be able to get that something something going for offense with Devin Leary and that bunch. So, yeah, I, I'm going to take Clemson just because it just seems, it's so weird that they that they have looked as bad as they have. I've got a feeling that they got something up their sleeve for this one, but... Uh, it, would it surprise me if NC State finds a way to keep this one close into the fourth quarter? Absolutely not. Uh, would it surprise me if NC State wins? Yeah, I think that might surprise me a little bit. <laughs> well, I'm going to have a little bit of money on the money line. You know that. This is going to be one of my one of my underdog specials this weekend. Hey, you you don't They're bet dogs list. without putting a little on money line. I know how you roll. No, I don't. I don't. I don't usually. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.